The effects of Washington's shutdown are being felt all around northeast Kansas. A number of people who work for the Kickapoo tribe don't have a job tonight. And KSNT News reporter Alec Gartner shows us what tribal leaders are saying about the layoffs. The Kickapoo tribe normally has about 100 employees, excluding Golden Eagle Casino. But tonight, many of them are without a job. 16 employees were let go from the tribe's fire department, police, road crew, and others. And tribal leaders blame the partial government shutdown. Through these treaties and promises that the government made to, to have these programs, that when they don't give us, our, give us the funds and we can't draw them down, we have to lay off all these people. Tribal Chairman Randall says the Tribal Council will keep working because they're elected officials, but they won't be getting paid either. I'm part of it because my funds come from indirect cost. It's a part of the administration. The layoffs come as a controversy was already brewing within the tribe. A group of people have been trying to get enough signatures to remove him from office. The Kickapoo Election Committee rejected that petition yesterday. They said it did not comply with certain provisions. Randall says the firings are not connected to the petition to remove him from his position. People don't understand it, so people go out there and say, Lester shuts the whole tribe down, shuts all these people off, and it's based off a political move. Well, I can't control the government shutdown. Randall says he hopes the tribe can move forward. From the Kickapoo Reservation, Alec Gartner, KSNT News. And Randall also says he hopes that the tribe can hire back as many of the people that were laid off as possible.